This video will cover thin wall features. Thin wall features allow you to create geometry by adding thickness to the inside and outside walls of the sketch. With these features, the 2D base sketch can be open. It does not necessarily have to be closed. There are three thin wall features. Extrude, Revolve, and Sweep. To access the Extrude Thin Boss dialog, under the Part Modeling tab, go to the Boss group and select Extrude, and then Thin Extrude. The Extrude Thin Boss dialog box appears. The last sketch you created appears in the Sketch to Extrude box. If you want to extrude a different sketch, click the Sketch to Extrude box, and click the sketch either in the Workspace or in the Design Explorer. Type is set to To Depth by default. The dialog box looks very similar to the regular Extrude dialog box, but there are a couple of additional options, Side 1 and Side 2. In this example, a circle is sketched and is extruded as a thin wall, where Side 1 is set to 1 inch, and Side 2 is set to 0. This adds one inch of material on the inside of the original dimensions of the sketch. If the side 1 and side 2 values are reversed, the one inch is added to the outside of the original dimensions of the sketch. You can also add material to both sides if you wish. In this case, one inch is added to side 1 and side 2. Here's an image of all three options together. Gap Type the gap type refers to how sketches will be connected to other sketches after they are offset by the wall thickness size. This is one of the few times when it's okay to use an open sketch to create 3D geometry. If the status sketch problems detected message appears, you may click the ignore button to dismiss this message. The three gap types are round, extend, and natural. The round option creates rounded corners. The Extend option extends two straight lines from the end of each figure until they intersect. The Natural option will extend the edges of the profile along their natural curves until they intersect. Revolve. Thin wall revolves are very similar to regular revolve features. You can see here that similar dialog boxes are used. The side options and gap types are the same as with thin wall extrude. A section view of this thin wall revolve was created so the internal portion of the part could be displayed showing the thin walled section. Sweep. Thin wall sweeps are also essentially the same as regular sweeps. Thin wall cuts. For all of the previous examples that were shown for the thin wall parts, they all added material. If you need to take material away, using the thin wall options, you will want to use thin wall cut. Here's the start of a mold design for a plastic injection molded part. The core sketch, similar to the one used a moment ago in the Revolve example, is used to create the mold cavity with the thin wall cut feature. The mold top plate is suppressed here, so you can see the cavity cut into the mold bottom plate. Here's a view of the cavity in the mold top plate. A section has been created of the mold here, and the mold top plate is suppressed to provide a more detailed view. This video covered thin wall features. You learned thin wall features allow you to create geometry by adding thickness to the inside and or outside walls of the sketch. Open sketches can be used when creating thin wall features. The three thin wall features are extrude, revolve, and sweep. Other than the addition of the values for size 1 and 2, the dialogues are similar to regular extrude, revolve, and sweep features. The three gap types are Natural, which extends the two figures along their natural curves until they intersect. Round, which creates rounded corners. Extend, which extends two straight lines from the end of each figure until they intersect. In addition to the boss versions of thin wall features that add material, there are cut versions of these features for removing material.